saw this fantastic twitch, and the only way we know it's you is the dancing, because you could be anybody. It is awesome to have you here. Thank you so much. I love this show. I love you, so thank you. Thank you for having me. Oh, thank right. you. And this is, uh, it is your first American talk show, so I am honored yes. that I am your first American talk show. And this is the best one to start on, I think, so thank you. <laughs> Let's talk about Spider-Man. So, ha were you a fan growing up? Huge fan. A yeah. huge, huge fan, yeah. And how did you find out you got this role? That's a, a huge thing to get this role. <laughs> I basically had been auditioning for about five months, and after my final audition, they said, you'll find out tomorrow. Fast forward six weeks, I was still waiting, still waiting, and one day, Marvel just posted on their Instagram, go to our website to find out who the new Spider-Man is, and that's it. I just found out online. It didn't, they didn't call me up or anything. So I ran downstairs. I was going ballistic. My poor dog, Tessa, was terrified. Um, and my brother, Harry, who's pretty savvy with technology and stuff, was like, dude, they've probably been hacked, bro. Like, they would call you, right? They would let you know. And um, so I called my agents. They were like, oh, this is amazing. And then Kevin Feige finally rang me and said, I've got some great news. You're going to be Spider-Man. I was like, I know, Kevin. You put it on <laughs> <Yeah>. Instagram. <laughs> You had to lie to so many people. How long did it take to make the movie? It was like a couple of years, right? It, it, how many years did you lie to people? <laughs> that is an unfair framing. <laughs> um, it was, uh, yeah, I lied to people for a good two years, and uh, I lied to the internet for two years, and it felt great. Who knew, but to, besides your agent, who knew that you were doing this? I mean, how hard is that to keep it yeah. to... Like, I mean, it's your family new? Yeah, my dad, my brother. Okay. Um, and, my, and my mother at the time. And yeah, just, just kind of us. Uh -huh. uh, it was fun to keep it secret. Because you know when you're planning a surprise birthday party yes. for someone? Yeah. And they're like, I hate surprises. Tell me, is the party happening? No, seriously, Ellen, don't mess around. Because you know I actually hate surprises. And I can see on your yeah. face, you're just yeah. like, I'm uh, not going to tell you, Mother yeah. Hubbard. You're not going to know. So it felt like I was part of organizing a surprise birthday party for a bunch of people who I knew would appreciate it. Everyone appreciate it. We love seeing you in it. We yeah, love oh, seeing you. Geez. So your first day on the set, you were what? I mean, you've done a lot of big movies, but what's your first day on this set like? I, I'm going to be honest with you. you know, we, we, in Hollywood, we'll fake our moments and say we had a moment and we do it all for, you know, for the cameras, but it was really a moment when I walked on set and he was in the suit and I'm in my makeup and I was just like, wow. This is really dope to be like childhood. You know, you always dreamed about playing the superhero or the villain, and then here we are, we get a chance to do our thing. And so it was really a moment. So we wanted to make sure that, that this one, that the villain and the superhero were really defined because, you know, you root for your superhero according to what his adversary is. So I really wanted to make sure I wanted to let him know I was going to burn the city down and him along with it. <laughs> Good for you. Yeah. I hear there is a lot of comedy in this one too, right? There there's actually a, there's, is. There's yeah, more. yeah. We um, because on the in the first movie, Peter was going through some just really intense stuff. He's going through very intense stuff in this movie as well. But I think all the filmmakers wanted to get back to that original Spider-Man thing, which is he's saving the city and being a teenage kid and enjoying himself and entertaining himself and entertaining everyone else around him while he's doing it. And I think that's what kind of separates him from other superheroes. When the movie comes out, uh, I, I would predict it's going to be a very, very successful movie. And uh, you're not going to be able to go anywhere, which is very hard. <laughs> that's that's going to be, you're going to get recognized. It's true. I you're know, not going to be able to leave your home. So um, I want to help you be able to live your life and, and freely and, and go around. So um, what I made you <laughs> is, <laughs> this is all. Yeah. See, it's all one thing. So you just put that on. It's easy access as well as stylish. Yes, yeah, so you don't have to, because two things to put on is too busy. So <laughs> you just that. put the whole thing on, and right. then there's a mustache here also. Okay. That, uh, here, you want to put that on just to you see what. You want to try that first? Yeah. Uh, this goes there, right? It goes there on the mustache area. <laughs> Already, I don't recognize you. Okay. Let me see this. That is a good look. I feel like I should do a German accent. Yeah. 
I feel like I should be a German man. <laughs> Some description. <laughs> and you should dance like Dita. <laughs> you should dance around with your hands like that. Yeah, 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 yeah. You, I don't know if you know this, but you have a beard now. What? <laughs> What? Yes, you have a, it's, it's, there's something on your face. It happened finally after 29 yeah. years. Now, were you worried that you couldn't grow a beard? Yes. I guess it's a big deal that like men want to know that they can grow a beard. That's the only reason to be a man. Is oh, really? To... <laughs> yeah. That's the only reason. As far as I'm uh, aware. Yeah, so, so uh, and it's a nice thick beard too. It's, you did very well, congratulations. Really? Yeah, you, well, because you know they can be spotty. That actually does mean a lot because I didn't think I was ever gonna, it was ever gonna happen. You right? look good, and we gave Thanks. you a disguise last time you were here. Maybe th that's what inspired it. Subconsciously, we, yes, I think that's what. I think we of, gave you something that that's you look. That's the one. <laughs> that's right. Because yeah. we knew that that movie would be very successful, and people were going to be clamoring to get get at you, and then uh, you grew your own disguise. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Now, and d did you enjoy the the? You're making the second movie now again. We, yeah, we, we're Wait. making the second movie again. again. Yeah, we, we made <laughs> yeah. it before, and it was yes. terrible. <laughs> right. So, um, so we're starting. I, a my whole new my mind is not working. I forgive understand. me. So you're making. A, <laughs> you've already started on the the next. In February we start the yes. next one. We started pre-production. We have right. a script, and it's very very good. Oh, good. Well, that's important. Which is which is kind of the, yeah. You need that otherwise. Yeah, you don't want to just do it because it was successful. That's, Precisely. That's, yeah. All right. Uh, so Spider Man. Uh, this is. Uh, this is the last Spider-Man, is that what I'm hearing, maybe? Uh, it probably won't be the last Spider-Man movie. For me, I'm not sure whether it'll be the last Spider-Man movie. Um, I haven't really thought about whether I would do more, but... It seems like a lot of work. I mean, it's, it's not just doing a movie. That's, that's hard work to be in that suit the whole time. Yeah, it's a lot of work. Yeah. It's a lot of work. It's fun, but it's, it's a lot of work. Yeah, and, and now there's, in this one, you, you can turn black, what happens to your, the Spider-Man, here's Spider-Man, and then all of a sudden something attaches to you. Nice. Yeah. Uh, there, well, it's Cinco de Mayo, well, so they're wearing yeah, sombreros. It's good. Yeah, exactly. But the sombrero is a key. Yeah. Maybe in uh, Spider-Man 4, I'll wear a sombrero. That would be great. Yeah. Why not? I agree. Yeah. I'm in. <laughs> all right. Um, and one of those skirts, like the dancers had. Those were nice. Yeah. One of the things you're saying I want. Mm-hmm. I'll take Is the a skirt. skirt? Yeah. Jen might like it. On me. I don't know. 